Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 7th of October 2022. It's very early morning here uh, in Bangkok. It's just half past six and uh, I call that very early anyway. And um, I played the game yesterday when I got back from swimming just after yesterday lunchtime and um, uh, I went on a... Um, I had a, a monologue about um, the horrific killing in the northeast of Thailand um, of children from a lunatic with a gun and a knife and um, actually uh, I uploaded the video, made the video and um, I had no idea, the, for some reason or another, the audio didn't um, work and I, I seem to see the audio on the video editor, so I have no idea why it didn't actually come out. But anyway, um, if I was a conspiracy theorist, that might be because I mentioned the fact that uh, the person was an ex-policeman. Um, but of course, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, and I don't believe any such thing. Uh, it's just some kind of technical issue. But anyway, maybe on balance, it's better that it um, did cut off, uh, that it didn't work, and uh, you didn't have to hear me uh, getting quite emotional. Um, it was a really terrible and tragic event uh, that I mentioned happens in has happened in many countries, not just in the USA. We always think automatically of the USA, um, but actually, this kind of event has happened in in, in many countries now. Um, a horrific thing, uh, just tragedy, a tragedy. Anyway, let's uh, try to get on with the game of Sudoku instead. Uh, this is the Guardian hard level game. Um, last hard level of the week, tomorrow should be the expert level. I have a, an extremely busy day today, that's why I'm up so early playing this game. Uh, I've got to go out and work and so I have to get on and I hope to finish this game pretty quickly. So what I see at the beginning here uh, in this bottom row is digit 3 is blocking these three squares and therefore digit 3 must fit into that square and then I can say digit 3 is blocking up here and across here and a 3 goes here. If you don't know it might mean that you've never played the game of Sudoku before. Well I suggest um, checking out the game on an easy day, that means Monday or a Tuesday, where I usually explain the rules if you've never played the game before. Although to be honest with you, you can probably pick up the rules in a trice because they're not that difficult to understand if you just follow along. Uh, let's do this again. 9 blocking across here and 9 blocking down here means we place a 9 in the only available square where it can go just there we have uh, nines blocking across these two rows and we have nine going up here so that gives us a nine in that square uh, we'll continue the nine down with the nine up that puts a nine here that means we can finish the nines because there's only one more to get, and you can always get that last iteration. So nine is there. Okay, nine is out of the way now. Um, what else can I see? I can see the two is blocking across here like this, putting two into one of these two squares, blocking down. So, excuse the screen is jumping again. The screen is feeling a bit weird, maybe, or maybe it's just too early for the screen. Uh, that means 2 is in this square or this square, so we'll block across here, so that's going to give me a 2 in that square there. 2 is blocking down and down here and across here means the 2 fits into that square there. I've just realized there are no sevens on board. While I was looking for this, uh, what was missing along here, uh, I happened to notice that there are no sevens given at the beginning. So that could be our tricky number today. Hmm. Ah, we've got three blocking down here, and three blocking down here, and three across here. I should have put that one in before, probably. So everything I look at, I seven is missing. Um,
All right, let's try a, a serial click, meaning, uh, oh no, I thought I'd seen something. I'd seen the one, two, and three blocking across here, but actually I've got four squares that need to be filled here. Um, okay. Uh, let's just look for anything easy first of all. Six down here, six up here, and six across here. And we get ourselves a six there. Six blocking up here and six blocking across here put six into one of these two squares, so the six blocking down, down, and across here, so that's a six. As I said, there aren't any sevens, so you can't click on it. Okay, we have four blocking this square and four blocking this square, so for this row, that's the location of four. Um, and we will be left with 7 and 8 in these squares. We don't have to look for the 7s because there aren't any, but there is a blocking 8 here, so the 8 goes here and we get our first 7 in that square there. Now the 8 blocking down here and down here puts an 8 here. 8's across the two rows here and down here and down here, so that's an 8. Uh, 7 and 8 are missing here. So 7s are over here. But you also mean 7s are down there. Actually, this, this is 7 and 6. Uh, this is a pair of 7 and 6 because 7s appear here. We've got 6s like, like this. So that has to be digit 1 then. Okay, one blocking up here, one across here. That puts 1 into this square. Then one blocking up and up gives us a 1 here. One across here and one up these two columns puts digit one into that square there. That's as far as we can go because we're going to be left with these squares there. Right, but anyway, now we've got that seven, at least one seven. It's going to be, should be slightly easier. Uh, five blocks across here, so. Five appears in that square. Okay, four blocks down here, 
that means 4 is in one of these two squares blocking across here and 4 blocks down here and 4 blocks across here so that's a 4. Now earlier on I said 1's have to be in one of these two squares. I think I said it, I certainly thought it, I may have said it, may have just thought it, but anyway I know that that's where the 1 goes. The 1 is also in that square now and that's finished. Let's see what else we can do. Okay, seven blocks this square, so seven has to be down here for this column, and two will finish off the column there. Uh, because we know that two blocks across here, two is in one of these two squares, so this can't be two, that has to be the two. The last number to get here is a, is a five. Five blocks all the way up here, there's a five. The last number to get down here is a three. Uh, three blocks across these two rows. I think that's the final. Yes, that was the final digit three. We're just looking for a four to complete the block here. Um, one number missing from this row. That looks to be a five. Five blocking up here. Five across here puts a five into this square. Five's blocking across here and up here. Five goes there. Five down here, this is going to be the final digit five, I think. Five there, okay. Uh, the last number across this row is a seven, which blocks here, so that's where the seven goes. Let's complete this block here with a six. Also, this block goes with a six, and six blocks across here and up here, so that must be a six, <coughs> giving us a six down here as well. Uh, almost finished now, so it uh, been a very um, simple game, uh, nothing complicated. Once you uh, get your first seven, I think uh, you're kind of home and dry. What's missing from here? Two and seven, I guess. Okay, so two blocks this square here, so that must be two, and then seven will appear here, and seven will appear there. And uh, well, let's not finish. Let's finish sevens ahead of time. Seven goes there. Seven blocks down here. This would be seven. Seven blocks up here. Seven goes here. So there you go. It wasn't the last digit to be finished, even if it was the last digit to be started. Um, eight goes here. Eight blocks up here. That's our eight. The last number to get here is a four. Four must also complete this block here, four blocks across here, that gives us a four there. And to finish today's Guardian hard level, a very simple game really. Um, once you manage to get uh, understand uh, how to fill in the first seven, I think you're okay. Uh, that's it. Um, there may be other Sudoku games today. Uh, it just really depends on the rain outside, traffic conditions, and any energy level that I have to play the game. Bye-bye.